everyone and welcome back. I'm so happy you're watching once again. Now you guys know that I normally switch between a background and my desk setup and all that. The ceiling has been scraped off and the floors were ripped out because I'm having them redone so I'm sitting on plywood right now. So we're gonna have to deal with colorful backgrounds for just a little while longer. I'm so excited to show it to you guys when it all comes together but for now I want to show you this look that I created. I was trying to find a way to combine summer and fall just because right now is like the transition from summer to fall. So I came up with this, a really shimmery bronzy gold eye look with a matte deeper kind of mauvey brown lip. In a recent makeup haul I showed you guys the Cargo Summer in the City palette and you guys loved it and asked me to make a tutorial with it. Uh, so I headed back to Kohl's and did some more shopping in their beauty department, got some more stuff for this video. So I'm just going to hop right into it and show you guys how I created this look. Alright, for this look I'm going to start with the face first. Beginning with my foundation, I'm going to use the Time Balm Foundation by The Balm. I'm going to take this sponge uh, by Earth Therapeutics. I'm going to use that big side to just dip into the foundation. And I'm just going to start stippling this into my skin. So you can pretty immediately see how good the coverage is. And I know a lot of you hate it when I don't put my hair back when I do my face, but I've been moving for the last two weeks and I've just been looking a hot mess. It's the first time I like washed and styled my hair, so let me live, please. I'm just now realizing that my sponge <laughs> matches my background. Like, exactly, that's really funny. All right, next up I'm gonna move on to the concealer. I'm using this by Cargo, which I've actually never used. This is their Picture Perfect HD Concealer in 3W. So I'm just gonna twist this up. It's a nice, easy to use pen form and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes. And this kind of has like that peach apricot undertone, which is good if you have any darkness under your eyes. So once I've got that on, I'm gonna go in with that sponge and just blend it in. Moving on to the highlight and contour, I'm gonna do this with all powder, uh, which is different for me. This has been a really popular palette and I'm so glad that Kohl's carries it. Um, you've got your highlight colors, a couple of different options for contour, and you've also got a shimmer highlight as well. So you've got a matte highlight, shimmer highlight, and then a couple of different um, contour options. So I'm gonna grab this little brush and dip into the yellow highlight. Actually, I'm gonna mix the beige highlight and the yellow highlight just to get something in between. And then I'm gonna go in and sort of set my under eye area. And I'm also going to set around my mouth and into my forehead. Basically every place that you tend to look greasy. Next up, I'm going to take a fluffier brush and dip into the light contour. You guys know sometimes I like to do that transition contour before I go in with something darker. So I'm gonna go into the usual spots and just add a little bit of definition and warmth to my face. And this actually isn't even that light for me. And for my nose, I'm just gonna go in, do like a general contour, nothing too precise. All right, that's pretty much it for the face. I'm moving on to the eyes. So I'm actually going to use the brush that comes in the palette. I'm going to use the shadow side and I'm going to dip into Sizzle. So this color I'm just going to pat onto my lid just from lash line up to crease. And the color payoff on this is pretty incredible. It's extremely pigmented. Now I'm just going to grab a blending brush with no shadow on it and just use it to blend it up and out just so it has like a nice diffused um, drop off. It's not just like a line at the crease. Now I'm going to take the other side of the brush, which is much smaller, and dip into Bike Ride, which is a nice pale gold shimmery color. So typically I put the pale shimmery color at the uh, high points of my lids in the center, but this time I'm going to put this right here at the inner corner of my eyes. And again, just starting right at the inner corner and then working my way out and blending into the bottom lash line and up into the lid as well. Now I'm going back to the other side of the brush and 
I have no other reason for why I'm using this color other than I just think it's really pretty. I'm gonna dip into Heat Wave. This is a really unique coppery color because it has more red in it than most copper eyeshadows. So I think it just turns out so beautifully. I'm just gonna add this to the outer corner. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but I just really want that warm touch. It's almost like a deep rose gold. But when you're using all shimmer shadows, whether you like it or not, it's gonna be pretty subtle anyway because all the colors have that light reflecting factor. So they're not really gonna look, unless they're like vibrant colors, they're not going to stand out too much from one another. So it's just a very subtle progression of color. So I don't wanna to get too crazy with this look because it is a pretty bold lip look. So I'm gonna stop right here with the shadows and move on to liner. I'm gonna be using a black eyeliner pencil by The Balm. It's called Mr. Right Now. I'm gonna go into the outer corner and work my way in and just create a really modest line because I'm going to smoke this out. And then I'm going in with the small side of that brush that came in the palette and just gonna use that to just smoke out that line, diffuse it, make it nice and smoky. Starting at that outer edge of the lash line and working into just about like the halfway point. All right, so this is definitely a false lash optional look. You can stick to just mascara or you can do what I'm gonna show you which is put on a very natural pair of um, false lashes. So first, I'm gonna go in with my Lorac Pro Fiber Mascara. So this one is supposed to add fibers to your lashes. And it's nice, it's pretty subtle, but it does add a little more volume to my lashes. And then I'm going to add some to the bottom lash line as well. So with mascara, with any mascara really, I like to start at the base and then just wiggle my way up as I'm turning the wand against my lashes. So turn, 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 and then close my eye against it so that there's more friction. That way you're getting maximum length. For the false lashes, I'm gonna be using this pair by Ilore. This is the number 80, and they're just really nice and lightweight, pretty natural looking. So I'm just gonna carefully lower that onto my lash line. Okay, we're almost done with the eyes. One last thing I wanna do is just fill in my brows a little bit. I'm using this by Pure Minerals. I've never used this before. Um, it's called Wake Up Brow. The color that I'm using is Latte. So I'm just going to lightly fill in. Nothing too dramatic. This is a really soft, brow pencil, it goes on really smoothly. Normally brow pencils are pretty stiff. Kinda like this. All right, to finish off this look, I'm going to use my matte lipstick. Funny enough, um, this is the Lorac Alter Ego Matte Lipstick, and I have, I've tried pretty much all of them. The one color I never got was Secret Agent, which is what I'm gonna use. I was when I was shopping at Kohl's, I was swatching the colors thinking, okay, well I have all of these, but once I tried Secret Agent, I was like, wait a second, no, I don't have this, I've never had it, and it's a really awesome color. It's that deep, kind of brownish mauve. Um, it's beautiful for the fall, so I'm gonna go in without a lip liner and just apply this directly. And that's pretty much it for this look. It was pretty easy, and this was, again, just my way of trying to combine a little bit of summer and a little bit of fall into one look. Don't forget that you can find the products that I used at your nearest Kohl's or Kohl's.com. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, and of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys very soon.